What's up my dudes? Hey, this is Will coming to you from the Gospel of Will channel, sharing stories about how God's love has transformed my life, the amazing blessings and miracle stories that he's been doing in my life. A little bit of background, I've been traveling on the road for about 13 months, traveling all over the United States here in my RV. I felt called to it. It's been super awesome. I've met so many awesome people, had so many awesome experiences. I'm blessed for all ever I go. Super thankful and super loving it. I want to talk to you guys about being persecuted for the sake of righteousness. There's a scripture that says, Great is your reward in heaven when you're persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For so too they persecuted the prophets before you. Um, there's another part that talks about how they persecuted Jesus. So if they persecuted Jesus, who is only good, surprise, it's no surprise they would persecute us as well. One of the craziest stories is about how I almost got beat with a belt for sharing my testimony. Whoa, super crazy. I'll tell you the story. I was traveling through Nashville, Tennessee, and it was January or February. It was about, it was in the single digit temperatures. It was below freezing, and I was traveling my RV, which doesn't have heat. A lot of times, if I'm in cool temperatures like that, I just have to bundle up a lot, and it's not too bad if you got lots of layers and it's just getting out of all those layers. It starts to get cold. But I was in Nashville, Tennessee. I love seeing original live music. I love uplifting positive lyrics. I love tunes you can dance to, move around, engage with, and have fun. I love meeting other people, and those are great community spots to meet. So I was searching for live music, and I found some there. I was uh, dancing around, super enjoying it, having a blast. I think you should be the change you want to see in the world. I think more people should interact and have fun, loosen up. So I'm always dancing around, having so much fun uh, in concert settings, dancing with the Lord, praising the Lord, uh, giving thanks for the musicians, thinking about so many good things, about lyrics, how he, sharing love, how he's with us, so many different things and having so much fun. So the concert ended up ending and I was walking around just meeting people. Sometimes I just love to go up and say, hey, I love meeting new people. You seem like an interesting person. My name's Will and getting to know people from there. I was meeting lots of people. I ended up meeting this super sharp younger couple. They look super well dressed, super modern and they were dancing around a little bit at the concert too. So they seemed like they were fun people and Ended up telling them about uh, my travels, how I was passing through Nashville, and they said, hey, what are you doing after this? We'd love to show you around the city, show you some cool local spots. And I was like, oh, that sounds so cool. I think I prayed about it in the situation and felt released on it. So I said, yeah, let's, uh, I'm down, let's go check it out. So we ended up visiting a couple different places. They seemed super nice. They showed me some cool places. It was getting a little bit later. I started um, breaking off in other conversations like I normally do. You know, I was hanging out with them for a while and then I started meeting other people and just uh, meeting new people and new places we were. And that had gone on for a while and eventually it was later at night and I was like, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head back to my bus. So I headed out of the place there and as I was walking out, the couple that I had met, they were actually outside as well. They were jumping in an Uber to go home right then. And they knew that I was staying in my bus, that it was super cold out. So they said, hey, how would you like to jump in this Uber with us right now? And you can come and you can crash on our couch. And I was like, man, it's super cold out. So that sounds pretty nice, you know? So I forgot to pray about it in the situation. That was a key point. I think you should pray about anything you do and everything you do, you can ask for prayer and guidance from the Lord. Prayer is not something that takes weeks to get an answer. God can answer you immediately. There's a scripture that says, in making a decision, whether you should turn to the left or to the right, you'll hear a voice behind you directing you which way to go, something like that. Anyway, I talk to God every day, try to implement prayer and everything I do because it can lead me on supernatural paths, places that I hadn't normally intended, but God intended me to go. So I forgot to pray about it in this situation. It sounded super nice and said, man, that sounds like a nice setup. So I decided to jump in and go for it. So I hopped in. We were heading back to their place. They lived in a really nice neighborhood. It was exceptionally well-off neighborhood. Like, it's pretty nice, nice. This young couple. And we went in and we were just hanging out. Some people said, you know, maybe, some people have said that maybe this was uh, some kind of sexual thing they were looking for. I don't, uh, I don't think so. Some people make sexual advances towards me. There was nothing like that going on. I'm not about any of that. They were just offering me a place to crash on their couch. So 
we got there and we were just hanging out, talking a little bit before going to bed. And the guy, he was like, man, you seem super happy. You seem super positive all the time. What's up with that? What makes you so happy all the time? And I was like, it's kind of a crazy story, but I'll tell you if you want to know. And he was like, yeah. So I just started delivering to him my testimony, the same testimony I've shared on this YouTube channel about how I used to be totally hopeless, lost. God had spoke to me and I had ran from it, continued to surround myself in darkness, and then eventually calling out on Jesus, meeting him in person, and him sharing absolute love with me, transforming, lifting all burdens from me, giving me peace, hope, and an amazing trajectory in life. And I was just sharing this with him, and the guy was getting upset throughout the conversation. He kept trying to derail the conversation into political matters, into religious debates. And I was just kept bringing it back to where the main point of the conversation. I kept avoiding those. I was like, hey, um, whatever you believe, that's cool. I'm not really here to debate these different topics. I'm just telling you what happened to me personally. So kept allowing it to go back to the main conversation the guy kept getting upset and he kept getting more and more upset as I was going through and then finally talking about how I met Jesus in person and his love was transformational and I finished his story and the guy got up and he took off he, go, he went into another room and I was like hey that's kind of weird um, his significant other was still there he came back quickly and he was wrapping a belt around his hand and he said you know it's okay to believe things but sometimes you got to pay for those beliefs and he was wrapping this belt around his hand and I was like, I was like, what? I was like, what is, what is going on here, man? And all of a sudden I felt really closed off and I felt uh, really, I felt like I was in a very dangerous situation. I was like, man, here I am closed off in this guy's house. I have no idea what could happen to me in this situation. And it felt like I was getting like smacked around spiritually. It felt like there was something different going on. Sometimes in intense situations, I don't know, sometimes my vision seems kind of strange like there was weird things going on in my brain right then for sure and I was I was just like hey man you know I was just explaining my story you're upset about it and that's okay you have uh, respect you uh, being upset about it. this is my personal story and his wife was like oh calm down honey you know he was just in a vulnerable place and we asked him and she was kind of uh, inter intercepting there a little bit and I was like, man, I gotta get out of here. I decided that I shouldn't take off running because that could trigger someone to chase after me. So I kind of just like rose up and slowly walked over this way and over close to the door where they were talking, having a discussion. And I grabbed my shoes and out the door and boom, I was gone, man. I slapped my shoes, I knocked the dust off of my feet and I put my shoes on and I started sprinting, man. I took off running, I took off sprinting as fast as I could, as fast as I could run. I was running, 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 I was turning, I was turning, I was turning, I was running, I was running, I was running. If you saw me, I was freaking flying, bro. I was running for my life. I was like, I gotta get out of here for sure. Ran for many blocks. Was not concerned about feeling winded. I would, no, I was running for my life, getting out of there. Finally made it to a place so I felt like I could duck in and hide. I think it was like a grocery store behind a pillar or something. And I called up an Uber to come pick me up. Uber probably pulled up and they're like, where is this guy? I don't see anybody here. And then pop out. And I'm like, yo, let's go, man. Hop in this Uber. And I was like, man, what is going on? This is crazy. We gotta get out of here. And got out of the situation it was nuts had him take me back to my bus they, they didn't know where my bus was um, it was back close to the original venue and got on my bus and started driving I was like I'm getting out of here too I took off driving I drove for some time I was like where do you want me to go Lord where should I go felt like uh, take it turn down this street yeah so I turned down the street and I parked I felt safe and I went to sleep there and I woke up the next day and it was kind of crazy it was a Sunday I started looking up what churches what church I wanted to go to you know and I was in the middle of like a cluster of churches. It was either Saturday or Sunday. Sometimes I go to church on either day. And it was crazy that there were like 20 churches around me. There were other churches spread throughout the city, but this was a, this was a cluster of them that formed like a circle around me. It was like a, a fortress of protection. And it was weird that I felt protected and safe in that spot. I had no idea that was going on. That was kind of cool. I ended up praying, you know, what church I should go to, and it was a somewhere else, somewhere different in the city, went there, had a great time. It was cool, but that was one of the craziest times that I've ever been attacked for sharing my testimony. Super crazy. I feel like it went from a pretty good time to it puts the lotion on the skin pretty quick. Um, 
totally crazy. Sometimes people come against me when they find out that I'm a Christian. Some people are just um, phobic about Christians. Some people are phobic about different people from different beliefs. I don't think you should be treating people badly based on what their belief set is. You know, you shouldn't be treating people badly at all, you know. Some people have personal problems. I'm super bold about my beliefs. Someone asks me, I will tell them. I'm not gonna back down from that. And if you have a problem, that's your problem. And if you wanna reveal that you have a problem, that's another problem. <laughs> but people start to come against me for sake of righteousness, something I'm doing for Jesus. Then I start to celebrate, you know, I start to dance around. When that happens, I'm like, oh yeah, great is my reward in heaven. Oh yeah, I started uh, clicking my heels together. I started, sometimes I'll pull up my phone and start playing We Are The Champions or some lyrics like that. And I don't care, man, just add into my, add into my riches in heaven. And we should care more about what God thinks than other people. And usually if they start to see you celebrating, then they start to change their angry brow and they'll start to back off and leave you alone. They try to put on social pressures and situations. And sometimes they don't. Sometimes, you know, they just end up avoiding you altogether. And if they've got that problem, then so be it. That's, that's their problem, like I said. I find a lot of times as people who have grown up in church settings, have had maybe negative experiences in the past dealing with people in church settings, and people anywhere will fail you, people in the church will fail you, it was religious leaders of the day that crucified Jesus, but God will never fail you. So that's super good. If you seek him, that's the best for sure. He will never do you wrong. So I hope that helps somebody out there, some encouragement. I hope you're stacking up riches in heaven. I hope that you're growing and advancing. You're like a massive tree providing shade for other people, fruits of the spirit or nourishing other people, patience, joy, kindness, gentleness, love. Hope you're sharing those with others. I hope the Holy Spirit is the water that nourishes you, soaking up into your soul. I continue to pray for you guys. Thanks so much for subscribing and liking the videos. Thanks so much for your super kind comments, all you people connecting. I'm going to share more stories about what God's been doing in my life. feel that I should share more of those stories, so stay tuned. I love you guys so much. Jesus loves you so much. Hope you're having an awesome day. Continue to pray for you guys. Bless you. Bye.